How you going guys, Sammy here. We're out in the flats today, we're chasing yabbies. Now yabbies are probably one of the most widely used and one of the most popular estuary baits out there. Uh, everything loves them. Not many fish will swim past a fresh live yabby. And they're quite simple to gather yourself. You can buy them from some fishing shops, but it's a bit of fun to get out there and pump yourself. So what you need, yabby pump like this guy here, and a bucket. Now we've already got a couple, but you can see on these flats here, all these little holes, these are yabby holes. And you use the pump to suck them out of the holes and spray them on the sand, and that's where you pick them up. Now there is various limits on how many yabbies you are allowed. Uh, that depends on your state, so make sure you check out those before you go yabbying. But let's have a pump and see how we go, eh? There's a couple of smallies. Ow, you bit me. You gotta watch out for their claws. They will give you a bit of a nip, they're not too bad, but one thing to watch out for the kids. Now, the idea behind it is you just work your way across the flat. You don't wanna concentrate in too much of one area just because it's not as effective as moving your way around and finding where there's bigger concentration. So, I usually just give give one hole a good pump if I don't see anything walk five or so steps like so there's nothing in that one walk five or so steps and start pumping again bait there, prime bait. So the technique for yabbying is you push down with the pump as you pull out and then you expel the uh, sand that you've just sucked up. So hit the bottom, pull back and expel the sand, a bit deeper and you gradually just work yourself deeper and deeper down to the same hole. Now you'll find, you'll find yabbies at various different depths. So we found these, these two here, we found them in the last one and there's another one there and we found him earlier a bit a bit higher up in the uh, pool so it does pay to keep going especially if you're chasing a bit of bait you want to get the most out of each hole there's another beauty have a go at the size of the nipper on that guy he uh, won't do too much damage if he gets hold of you but he'll give you a nice little pinch but that guy there it's got flathead written all over it what a beauty Rightio guys, so we've pulled up here. We're not too far from the bank that we uh, we pump these guys and there's a reason for that because most of the fish that eat yabbies are gonna be hunting near yabby beds. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to rig them up and then I'm gonna try and catch a feed of whiting for tea. So you've got your yabby like this. I've got a size two long shank hook there, bloodworm hook, and I'm fishing extremely light. I've only got a tiny little sinker there. Um, you can also fish yabbies on your swivel and sinker rig uh, with a bit of a trace uh, but because I'm fishing so light I don't really need to I'm just gonna really just let it roll along the uh, the sand flats that we've pulled up on here and something will come and pick it up now to rig them it's very similar to how you'd rig a prawn so you start at the back there at the end of his tail and run your hook up and run your hook up all the way to his head and then pull it out just at the base of his head like so so you're going to sit like that in the water and that is going to hopefully equal a big flathead, nice big whiting, even a brim. Literally anything will eat a yabby, they're a fantastic bait. Pump them yourself, make a day of it and a feed shouldn't be too far off for you. Righto, I'm going to see what will eat this guy. Get out there and have a crack yourself. I'm gonna to tend to this. See ya.